the present video lecture is on uh, logic families uh, part 1 the topic of uh, logic families has been divided into two parts the first part is on bipolar logic families while part 2 will consist of metal oxide uh, families like moss families. Towards the end of part uh, uh, 2 uh, a comparative study is made for the uh, all the logic families the bipolar logic families make use of uh, devices like PJT and the these devices uh, may be operated uh, in the saturated or unsaturated mode. So we'll uh, start the uh, uh, video. So uh, the topic is as uh, told here, so digital integrated circuits is uh, part one here. This is part first, part one, and uh, uh, we know normally the integrated circuits are classified as uh, linear and digital circuits. There are two types. Linear circuits uh, consist of operational amplifiers, maybe comparators, and many other circuits. Why is digital circuits? are enormous like the circuits we are going to discuss here are digital integrated circuits and uh, almost 80 percent of the ICs which are fabricated are digital ICs. Now these digital ICs are classified as per the uh, level of their integration uh, they are like uh, SSIs, MSIs, LSIs, VLSIs, ULSIs and GSI small scale, medium scale, large scale, very large scale, ultra large scale and giga scale integrated circuits and uh, these circuits uh, are classified as per the number of uh, gates. In some of the literature you will find solid are uh, sometimes classified as number of gates or the number of devices used. So but here we have classified as per the number of gates. So this is their classification that SSIs, MSIs, <coughs> LSIs, VLSIs are classified. Like GSI, Giga Scale Integrated Circuits, when the number of gates is 1 million or more, they can come under this category. Now uh, these uh, SSIs, uh, uh, basic uh, gates uh, follow in this uh, category like uh, basic gates like NAND, NAR and flip-flops they come under SSI, MSIs they are more complex functions like adders, comparators and so on. LSI small digital systems like digital clock calculators come under the large scale integrated circuits while VLSIs very large scale integrated circuits consist of uh, digital systems and chips like large memory chips and many others. Then comes ULSI and GSI we have put together here and uh, they have a capability of complex functions having several uh, boards of uh, integrated circuits. Okay, now the uh, digital IC characteristics now we can uh, see here this uh, logic families uh, uh, normally uh, the logic families we have divided uh, uh, in this uh, uh, categorization as bipolar logic families and they are saturated type like register transistor logic DCTL, DTL, TTL and I square L logic and they are non-saturated uh, logic like Schottky TTL and ECL. 
this is the bipolar uh, logic uh, family and the other family is metal oxide semiconductor families and they are uh, MOS families are of PMOS, NMOS and CMOS these are the uh, various uh, elements or various components of this family now uh, before uh, we start any logic family we'll uh, talk about the uh, the IC uh, characteristics uh, here uh, one parameter is current and voltage uh, parameters the first one here the currents and voltage are represented as like IIH, IIL, IOH, IOL similarly the voltage is here H represents the high state state and I represents whether it's at the input or at the output similarly all this either L, H or L and O or I but here one thing to mark here these values uh, indicated here are like the if there is uh, like let's take here VIH the parameter VIH here if we consider so this is input in the high state and this indicates the minimum value voltage required for the logic one at at the input okay for TTL it is 2 volts so it is the minimum value if it is high it is the minimum value similarly uh, other parameters also can be defined the same way they indicate the minimum value of uh, that parameter now the propagation delay this also one of the very important parameter uh, like indicator TPD this is basically a delay time in going from low to high or uh, low to high logic or high to low logic TPLH or TPHL these are the ways uh, we represent it so the average value taken is TPD that is TPLH plus TPHL divided by 2 in BJT TPLH is higher than TPHL because of the reverse recovery uh, in the bipolar devices in FETs the, it is the other way TPLH is uh, uh, less than TPHL this due to large capacitance involved so the two uh, phenomena are different that how one is uh, large and the other and the other is low and the uh, typical value uh, is 15 nanoseconds for these propagation delays propagation delays in nanoseconds now the next important parameter is power dissipation it's basically a measure of power consumed uh, by a logic gate and average power dissipated is indicated normally and it's, uh, uh, DC supply voltage multiplied by the mean current for TTL it is around TTL standard it's about 10 milliwatts fan in and fan out fan in is the number of inputs connected to gate without degradation and found fan out is the maximum number of similar gates that it can drive typically the fan out is 10 for TTL and you can calculate fan out by this relation fan out for the high state is IUH over IIH and uh, fan out for low state IUL over IIL current input overall fine, uh, fan out is lowest of the two if you find the fan out for high state and the lowest state the minimum of the two is the set to be the overall fan out now uh, uh, this is another important parameter noise amenity basically uh, uh, tells the circuit uh, that uh, how much noise the circuit can tolerate uh, without having any spurious uh, changes in the output and here we have indicated uh, through this diagram if these this uh, voltage level from zero to the supply voltage here so in between uh, the voltage levels are like here we can see VOH, VIH, VIL, VOL so this different VOH minus VIH will give me the high state uh, noise margin VOH minus VIH being indicated here similarly the uh, low state noise margin is given by VNL that is VIL minus VL and this we have uh, shown here for the TTL circuit uh, it's a 0.4 volts for 
high and low noise noise margin so it is uh, 0.4 volt if one is higher than the other the minimum one is taken as the noise margin for the circuit okay now the other parameter is current sourcing current sourcing or current sinking uh, current sourcing means when uh, a particular gate uh, or particular output supplies the current to the load uh, circuit then we say it is sourcing the current supplying the current and uh, when it is uh, receives the current it is said to be sinking the current so in this case here uh, this is current sourcing that means it is uh, sourcing the current to the output is in this fashion and uh, sinking the current this current would be sink like this so these are the two uh, operations being indicated here uh, because uh, here this is uh, demonstrated through this uh, NAND gate if both are high this will be low so low output it will sink the current for, from the load gates now uh, the other parameter the last parameter is speed power product uh, or it's also said figure of merit so one of the very important uh, parameters and uh, so it represents a TPD propagation delay into average um, power dissipation. So this comes out to be like uh, here. Typically, uh, comes out to be like uh, if you multiply picojoules, 50 picojoules. So when delay in nanosecond, peak average in milliwatts, the speed power product is comes into picojoules. What is the standard? It's 100 uh, picojoules. Now. Uh, we we'll start with the uh, bipolar logic families. Uh, bipolar logic families uh, uh, basically are uh, you can see here we can increase uh, this size here. Uh, okay, this uh, bipolar logic families. Bipolar ICs uh, use resistors and uh, bipolar junction transistors and the diodes in their families and they are either saturated logic or non-saturated logic. So this circuits which we are talking now are the saturated logic circuits. Like RTL is the first uh, uh, logic family. The earliest one what was used before the development of ICs is of low speed, high power dissipation and low fan out and can be used in wire connection. What connection mean where all these outputs could be wired together. Okay. Now uh, if we see uh, this uh, the other family is direct coupled logic. Uh, here the base uh, rest of the transistor is removed and the circuit uh, uh, is said to be direct coupled uh, uh, transistor logic and here voltage levels are 0.8 volts and uh, 0.2 volts. So uh, although it's simpler than RTL but there is a poor noise margin because of these voltage levels and problem of current hogging comes in. If the transistors are not matching then the transistor having the uh, uh, lower value of BB saturation will go to saturation first and not allow other transistors to saturate and that's a phenomenon of current hogging. And then uh, comes the direct transistor logic the uh, this is the first configuration which was uh, designed in the integrated circuit form and it is diode and uh, diode and gate and the BJT inverter. This is the simplest configuration to this. It has limitations. Uh, uh, this circuit has a limitation that uh, it does not provide uh, low and constant output impedance in both the states. That is a requirement and uh, we are not discussing this circuit here in detail the main circuit uh, uh, which is uh, which has evolved from this uh, DTL circuit we'll talk about in details so this uh, transistor transistor logic uh, this is the uh, most important uh, uh, circuit of a logic family uh, well, we can look at this uh, circuit said to be TTL the name is transistor transistor logic and uh, problem of DTL has been eliminated here by the 
what we say is totem pole output. So what is the totem pole output here? This transistor Q4 is sitting at the top of Q3. This arrangement is said to be the totem pole arrangement. It's a like a crown uh, of some uh, natives uh, and that's why this name is given as a, a totem pole connection. So here if you look into this circuit, uh, this Q1 is a multimeter transistor and this circuit Q2 is a phase splitter, Q3 and Q4 form the totem pole output and diode D here which is connected so ensures uh, that the Q4 remains in cutoff when the output is low here. So we take the first condition here when A is equal to B is equal to 0 that means when the low logic is applied then uh, emitter base junctions here are forward biased. When they are forward biased the transfer Q1 would saturate and Q2 uh, that means uh, when it is saturating the voltage here would be very small 0 volts so it will be in cutoff and Q3 will also be in cutoff. The Q3 is also in cutoff. Q4 acts like an emitter follower here. So output uh, turns out to be high here because this is cut up. So the output is high here. Uh, so uh, we can reduce this uh, here. This uh, So uh, the other condition here when A equals to B is equal to 1, emitter base junction is reverse biased, uh, character base junction is forward biased for this transistor. Emitter base junction is reverse biased collector base junction is forward bias you can work out and uh, that means Q1 is in reverse active mode because normally this junction has to be forward bias this junction should be reverse bias but it is the other way so it is working in reverse uh, active mode and current to base of Q2 uh, will be flowing since normal current will be in this direction but the actual current will be flowing in this direction now. The current flow is reverse and because of this current flow this transistor saturates. So uh, for bias given is in reverse bias active mode current to be so saturates and voltage at collector of Q2. Collector of Q2 here if you see the voltage at this point it will be uh, the VC saturation 0.1 volt and 0.7 volts of VB saturation it will make 0.8 volts here and this 0.8 volts here this 0.8 volts here will not be enough to forward bias this Q4 so it will be off so this transfer will be off so Q1 Q3 so this will be will be off because this transfer Q3 is in saturation so you will get a low output. Anyway this is the description for this uh, circuit. Uh, now uh, some of the important terms uh, which uh, very commonly talk about are like totem pole output. This is a fast switching speed and the low power dissipation. But the limitation is large spike while switching from low to high. Then other configuration open collector that's a wire and an hour operations are possible when it's open collector. Totem pole output does not provide wire, wired and or hour operations. Tri state output incorporates the benefits of both totem pole and open collector TTL subfamilies. <coughs> now uh, when we talked about TTL subfamilies, uh, we'll see that what are the other TTL subfamilies uh, which exist. Uh, uh, and the in TTL subfamilies, uh, one of the most important uh, family here is the uh, short key TTL. The main purpose uh, for the short key uh, transistor or the circuits using short key transistors and diode is to increase the speed. And for some subfamilies uh, that use short key diodes uh, and transistors are like 74S, 74LS. 74 ALS advanced low shot key, low power shot key, and uh, 74 advanced shot key. Uh, these shot key runs use shot key clamped outs across the collector base junction. 
abhijati so that it's not saturated so these short key uh, devices are unsaturated devices not like other devices which we talked short key carrier diodes are also called hot carrier diodes they are also we call hot carrier diodes now uh, these are the uh, ttl uh, sub families uh, a comparison is given here for these uh, ttl sub families uh, one thing to uh, mention here that normally uh, you will see an integrated uh, kind of table but here we have distinguished this table minimizing power and this is minimizing delay so we want to know that what are the uh, type of families which are for minimizing the power and which are for minimizing delay so it isolates them otherwise it's very difficult to dis find distinction that which family would have what kind of characteristics so we have uh, done this way minimizing delay and uh, minimizing uh, power like LTTL, L LSTL, ALS all have letter L for low power this L here letter indicates uh, for low power uh, and uh, uh, out of this ALS series has the best characteristics that ALS series provides the best characteristics out of this having participation of like 1.2 milliwatts now HTTL, STL H, TTL, STTL, AS, they are high speed. So, high speed. So, they are uh, out of these uh, high speed, uh, uh, H indicates high speed, short key also definitely high speed, and this is also short key. They also all represent high speed. So, AS is the best out of this. AS series is the best uh, out of this. You can see this, this AS series. Our air series, you can see that uh, propagation delay is only 1.8 uh, 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 power dissipation. Propagation delay, not uh, not delay. Propagation delay is 1.7 uh, nanosecond, and power dissipation is 8 milliwatts. And uh, this is a figure of merit. That's uh, the best here, 13.7, 13.6 here in this particular case. So this is supposed to be uh, the best uh, uh, logic subfamily. Now uh, we see the comparison of uh, TTL subfamilies again here. Uh, those have been the uh, in terms of values that how they compare but here uh, we are trying to indicate that uh, uh, by words <coughs> here the TTL subfamilies and the introductions, then what are the features of that and what are the limitations like TTL standard, series transistors and totem pole configuration and features are so most commonly used as SSI for laboratory experiments. We find this uh, series available still in laboratories uh, for experiments because they are the cheap. Uh, so they are low speed and high power dissipation like 10 nanoseconds uh, is propagation delay 10 milliwatts is uh, like dissipation. Then uh, we see low power uh, TTL 74L. Uh, here we register values are increased. So reduced power dissipation here typically is uh, 1 milliwatt and so suitable for battery operator applications but uh, having propagation delay typically of 33 nanoseconds. Here high speed TTL 74H. H is for high speed. Smaller register are used and uh, we also use emitter follower with Darlington pair so that that further reduces the uh, resistance or impedance so increase the speed so it's a high speed uh, circuit approximate propagation delay of 6 nanoseconds uh, more power dissipation is about 22 milliwatts short key TTL uh, they are really meant for high speed so they are unsaturated short key diode Darlington active pull up is used Improved switching speed is of 3 nanoseconds and average power dissipation of 20 milliwatts. Low power TTL uh, 74LS and uh, low power because short key and then low power both the speed and power. So uh, we increase here in this uh, internal resistance and use short key diodes. So it gives 2 milliwatts and typically 
a speed of 9.5 nanoseconds. So it's a, a good uh, series which has a compromise of uh, power dissipation as well as speed. It's, could be a good uh, choice. Advanced shot key TDL 74, 74S, smaller device geometries, reducing uh, capacitance and uh, fastest, fastest logic family propagation delay of 1.7 nanoseconds which is suitable for high frequency applications. Uh, having moderate power dissipation like 8 uh, milliwatts and the advanced low power shot key uses uh, sorry advanced low power shot key uh, so uses complex circuits and uh, best for battery operated circuits low speed power product this having the uh, uh, lower speed power products are figure of minute of 4.8 uh, picojoules now we can uh, see integrated uh, uh, injection logic this is I square L logic this I square L is also called mer transistor logic and this uses both NP and PNP transistors reduce the number of metal interconnections so high speed and less power dissipation and it's a better FM figure of merit and price use in large computers intercouple logic is uh, it's a very important uh, non-saturated logic it's a current mode logic it's a non-saturated and the fastest switching speed propagation delay is approximately one nanosecond the so fastest logic family high dissipation and takes large chip area and circuits of differential amplifier and emitter followers so this is about uh, these families and now uh, the last sheet here this uh, uh, gives us the comparison of uh, uh, these uh, bipolar logic families in a uh, single table so you can see resistor transistor logic uh, this has been in use before the development of the ICs and this is one of the first logic families so have this advantage like low speed high power distribution, low fan out and all that. DC direct couple transistor logic, direct couple transistor logic uh, and the base resistor is emitted, so simpler than RTL and small logic string. So it's a very poor power margin, uh, poor noise margin. So uh, they, it's not suitable. Then uh, direct transistor logic, uh, user dials and transistor, this is the first circuit configuration designed into IC form fabricated in twice form and uh, low and constant output impedance is not possible so TTL this is one of the popular uh, uh, series transistor transistor logic uh, has been developed and this series uh, has a great advantage uh, uh, using all uh, uses all the transistors and the configuration is uh, output is totem pole output and uh, this provides a fast switching time, low power dissipation. So, but still, it has this advantage of large current spike when switching from low to high. This does exist with this uh, series. And then comes the I square L logic, uh, technology of merge transistor logic, both PNP and NP transistors is used. Low metal interconnections. This is one of the special feature of this. So, because of this, um, high component density is possible and you get uh, less power dissipation and it's used in uh, large computers. So, it's a low speed and having a poor noise humidity. Now, this is the uh, last sheet here of this, this uh, emitter coupled logic. This is the logic family of non-saturated type and uh, it has complementary outputs and uh, its logic levels are bit odd like minus 0.8 volts a logic level 1 and minus 1.7 is a logic 0 this is something very odd for this series uh, otherwise uh, fastest uh, logic family in uh, uh, bipolar families and uh, so it can be used for uh, high frequency applications and there are no noise spikes which exist in TTL circuit and then high power dissipation this is one of the greatest drawback with the series the high power dissipation highest high power dissipation 
and inconvenient voltage levels that we have already seen and it also has a low noise margin. Uh, although we have uh, very briefly uh, uh, we very briefly touched uh, various uh, topics here in the bipolar logic family uh, although a uh, lot more material is available in the books uh, which you can uh, get through uh, uh, but it's very difficult to concise all the material available I have tried my effort to make it uh, 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 make it uh, convenient for you to read and put it in these uh, 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 these presentation form these sheets uh, uh, which we have uh, used for video presentation would be available to you on the website you can uh, download the these sheets and uh, you can use it as notes uh, this topic we have been uh, uh, trying to do it for a pretty long time and took a, a very long time for me to concise the topic to this form. Okay, now next we'll uh, uh, maybe in few days we'll cover the uh, second part of it that is on MOS uh, logic that will have N MOS, V MOS and C MOS logic. Uh, thank you very much.